So hey, hello everyone. Happy New Year to you. First day of the year. I figured, you know what? Let me go and do a retouch. So let's get straight to the point because I know y'all hate talking. So first, um, this is a client. Um, she asked me for this photo to be retouched. So I asked her, um, could I use it for my YouTube? She said it was okay. So first I bring it in. Usually I, I might use Lightroom, but I'm going to do everything in Photoshop. So I bring the picture in, I double click on the photo to unlock it, and the first thing I do is make a copy. Now, from here, like I said, if I would have went into Lightroom, I would have pulled up, you know, um, well, I wouldn't have pulled it up, but I would have been adjusting the colors and things like that. But I'm going to do it in here. And this is a JPEG. This is not, this is not a raw file, as you can see right here, JPEG. So what I would do... Let's go to filter, go to camera raw filter, and then adjust my colors and whatever I want from there. So that's what I'm doing. You see this pops up as though you, as if it was a raw file. And then I'll look at everything. And I, I kind of like everything. I'm just probably, I might bring the lights up um, at the top. But first I'll play with it. So I'm going to my temperature and I'm seeing what I can do. Okay, because it had like a blue hue to it. So I'm kind of taking that out a little bit and bring it back. So this is where it is. I like this. So this is where I started. What's that? Plus 16. I started like that. That's nice, but I wanted to bring it. I like to warm up my photos. So I'm going to bring it right here. Oh, let me double check it again. I like that, but nah. Um, I'm going to warm it up just a little bit to about plus, what was it? It was like plus 16. Probably bring it about right here, plus 12. Now, I'm looking around to see what else I may do to it. Um, nothing really. Uh, let me pull up my exposure just a little bit. And play with these highlights down a little bit. Cool. I kind of like that. Pull up this right there. About right there. Cool. I like that. So once you get it right here, you just hit OK. And bam, there it is. Now, before and after, that's after, that's before, which is still nice. I love that. And that's after. So I do like the dark, the vignette around it, the way I shot it with the um, with the grill. So I might do that after I finish everything else. So once I get it here, first thing I do is blow it up, and I use um, trying to okay. There we go. My spot healing. That's what I usually use. You can use you know clone and all that. Now, as I said before, I'm using the XP Pen tablet. I love this thing. So I'm blowing it all the way up. And I see I'm going to start right here. Bring them down. And then I'm just going to start cleaning up. Just cleaning up little stuff. Real quick. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Mm -hmm. Just little things real quick. Clean up the face just a little bit. You know, since my makeup artist was so dope, let's enhance it. You know what I mean? Work hand in hand. So, okay. So, the cleanup is going great. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Totally apologize. Okay, okay. So, like I said, I'm just moving around. Just looking for stuff so I don't have to do too much anything. I could just keep going. So I should have sped this up, this part up, because I know you guys really don't. You know, you guys be in a rush. It's a microwave society. Everybody's in a rush. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go up here. Bam. Okay. So I'm gonna try to just do it a little faster. But I gotta have it nice. B 
because this is an actual client's photo. So, mm -hmm. Make your brush smaller or larger for the different parts that you want to clean up. You want your brush just as large as a spot, you know what I mean? Or take your time and do it piece by piece. You don't want your brush real big. Okay, so we want all these intricate spots right up in here, right up in there. Okay, so you want it as natural as possible for portfolios. You want it to look too, like it's been so retouched. You want to try to keep it as natural as possible. See this little piece right here in the eyebrow? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to swing around. I'm going to come up here a little bit. Right there. Right there. Cool. Like that. Come back down. And we're going to go right up in here a little bit. Face more. Where the hair is. Okay, cool. And now I'm satisfied with that so i will work my way down as you see looking around looking around for things so you want to try to keep it natural you don't want to edit so much so zoom back out and now i will touch up the hair a little bit so when i touch up the hair i use my clone tool clone stamp tool sample from a spot real close and then just clean up the hair a little bit so sometimes it's real dark and you can't see so what you will do is go to your curves adjustment i don't know where that came from <laughs> okay curves adjustment and then what am i Okay, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, curves adjustment. Where is my curves? Okay, we're going to delete that because that's crazy. You know what I mean? It should have came up like that. There it is. All right, so we're going to bring that up. The only reason we're bringing that up is so we can see. So I'm bringing it all the way up so I can see the backdrop. If there's anything that I need to clean, I'll get that. So now we're going to zoom back in. Gonna make sure you put it um, back on your picture. And now we're going to now we're going to um, do that. Clean it up. Let's see if we can see a lot better. And then we just go. And I know sometimes it's a little darker than, you know, the area is a little darker than another area. But we could fix that real quick. Okay, here we go. Or lighter. We'll do that when we clean up that part. <clears throat> so, like I said, all I'm doing is cleaning up the hair. Flyaways. And you don't want it to look too perfect. And I'm sampling from the spot right by it. And keep moving. So we'll go right here to the top, sample from there, then clean up, sample, clean up. I could have used spot healing, but I didn't. Um, let's see, sample and clean up. And what I love about this pen, XP pen, is just nice, quick, and smooth. So we're going to go down here, sample from here, and clean up. Sample didn't clean up. Sample didn't clean up. Did everybody have a happy new year? If not, prayers to you and a better year to you. You know, and prayers to everybody anyway, you know. So, yeah, we just straight cleaning up. Not trying to make it look perfect because you don't want to be so retouched and we just cleaning up that those little spots cleaning up those little spots you know what I'll make this a little bit bigger I'll brush uh-huh 
And with the XP pen tablet, you can set the buttons to things that you wanted to do, like make my brush size larger. I could do that. And I'm just going to tap up in there. Still keeping it natural looking. Okay, now we're going to zoom out. And we're going to look around the layout, the backdrop, brother. You know, just in case you had spots on your camera or things like that. All right, cool. Now, from here, I just delete the curves because we don't need it no more. We cleaned everything up. Go back out. Now, we'll work our way down because I started at the top, didn't work our way down. So let's see if there's any little, like, something that you may miss, like buttons or something that's not there that you didn't see because you was concentrating on your client. Um, maybe some hair, I'm not hair, little strands of string somewhere. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Or maybe a mark on the shirt. So I'm working my way down. Cool. Okay. See how we work our way down? Wasn't even thinking about the hands. <laughs> you know, so let's get the hands. Get the hands, clean that up. If there's anything to clean up, if it's not, you keep it moving. But I'm going to clean that little part up. Shouldn't even touch this part, but oh, here we go. Um, Just a few little things, you know. You really can't even see this, but since I'm here and I'm doing this tutorial, I might as well show it. We'll get down here in it. Mm -hmm. Just a little spots. Uh, I'm just touching up. That's all. Okay. Now I'm going to go down, down, down. All right. Cool. There it is. So now we're done with that. And now you zoom out and you take a look at what you've done because you might miss something. Because when you're so zoomed in, you don't see things. Now right around here, you see it when it's zoomed out. So I'm going to go back in here and touch with this right quick. Um, cool, cool. Uh, Alright, cool. Alright, it's just a little something that you don't see when it's close up. So always check. And then if you hit R, now you can rotate. You want to look at it from a different angle or perspective because you'll miss something. And you can just rotate. Just hit R on the keyboard and you just rotate and watch and look to see if you missed anything. Because I'm telling you, <laughs> it's crazy. It might seem crazy, but you might miss something. Like, okay, um, let me see right here. So I'm gonna go over here to my spot healing and right up in here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get just with it looking natural, real natural. But I didn't see that when it was the other way. So, okay, cool. You go back to your R, keep rotating. <laughs> Keep looking, rotate, look, rotate, look, rotate, look. Now, if you want to go back, you see up here at the top, you just hit reset view, and bam, there you go. Now, cool. Now, right now, we're basically done. We don't have to do no frequency separation or none of that because we took our time um, on our photo. See, it's nice, clean, real clean. I don't see this right here. That's really nothing, but we're going to get that. So I went to my um, spot healing. But since I've done her last photos a different way, I mean, yeah, a different way from this, so I'm going to do it just like I did her other photos. So that's basically a clean nice clean professional shot but what we're going to do command j and now we're going to frequent to the separation 
<laughs> so y'all know this is what I use, which is 8-bit. Go to 8-bit. Thumbs up, hit OK. If you like 6.4, I trust 6.4, so it's all right with me. So now we're going to go from here. We're going to go to our mixer brush. Tapping on my mixer brush, go down. Now here we like to have this brush check. Um, wetness, I like mine 1%. Load 75, mix 90, flow 100. I don't even know what this is, 10%. <laughs> so we're going to go in there. Make sure you're not on this correcting tone during your low frequency, not your high frequency correcting tone. You want to tap that right there. This is where you want to be. Now, I like my brush pretty big as though it was a um, makeup brush. And then I just mix. That's what it says, right? Mixing brush. So, okay. All right, so we're going in and all we're really doing is mixing down. Not too much. We're going to get this part right here to blend that. I usually do it just like this. Um, blend that. I'm going to blend that. And then you make your brush smaller or larger, however the situation is for. Because you don't want to go over the hair or nothing like that. So you just want to blend in, blend in when you mix them, just like this. Something real nice, smooth, real nice and easy. I should have got that once, but I could go back and get it. These shadows right here, you want to blend them in if it's a shadow that needs to be blended. But shadow give, gives the photo character and gives it its depth. Okay, go right here, right here. We're going to get all this since we're right here. Cool. Right there. Then we're going to go back right here. All right. Now we're going to go to the arm. Really don't need to, but I just kind of touch it. Touch it up. You see, I'm just barely doing it. Make my brush small and larger. Cool. We're going to come up in here. Move that up, and since we did everything else, we're gonna do right here too. This up in here, right up in here. You don't want to go over the lines right here. You want to make your brush smaller or larger, and barely tap it. Now, okay. So now what I'm gonna do? I'll make my mixer brush large, and then I'm gonna go over those areas. Remember I was telling you. Where I was with the um, clone in the hair, so that's what I'm doing right now. To bring the backdrop all smooth, go down up in here. So that's how you can use frequency separation too. Also. A way to use frequency separation. I might erase it, but I'm going to show you. You see these little wrinkles right here? You can get those out too. Watch this. See them just go away? Nice. Gone. Tap that area. Boom. And you can put that texture back that you're looking at. I wouldn't be doing a big space. I'm just showing how you can get rid of wrinkles. Just like that. Five wrinkles just like that and it looks like a pressed shirt but I like to uh the way it was so I'm gonna bring that back cool all right so after that I'm pretty oh uh oh <laughs> Russian didn't pay attention to the hands See, I told you I was looking around which made me look at the hands and you don't need to do it but I'm doing it anyway You just want to tap it, tap it, tap it all up in here. I may probably get some wrinkles out. Not wrinkles, I'm sorry, y'all. The little lines. I apologize for saying that. And you just tap it. 
where it barely looks like it's been touched. You don't want them to look crazy. And I didn't have to do it anyway, but I did it. All right, cool. Now, let's see. I'm looking at this spot right here. So we're going to see what, what that is. I know it was a piece of hair that I left. But you see how this, from here, it looks like something real long. But when you blow it up, you barely see anything. That's why you always need to zoom out and zoom in. Since I see something, I'm going to play with that up close. And then I'm going to zoom out and see. Cool. Let me see something. Zoom back out. And then zoom back in. Play with it. All right, so now I'm going to do what I did last time. Hit the R. And I'm going to rotate. I'm going to look. See if we missed anything. Rotate. Rotate. So now I think. What is that right there? Like right up in here. It's a nice little shadow, so I'm going to leave it. Rotate, though. Zoom out, rotate. Zoom out. Keep spinning. Rotate. Cool. So I see something I'm going to check out in the hair. So reset view. Go back to your mixer brush. And in this spot right here, I want to know what that is. I don't know, but we're going to fix that real quick. So we're going to get out of this. And what I like to do, I like to leave that right there. And then you could hit Command Option Shift E. I know that's a lot, but Command Option Shift E. And what that does is make a new layer, but it doesn't merge everything. So you can always go back. So now I'm on a new layer. It merged all these together from the layer zero, layer zero copy, copy two. Frequency separation. It merged all that, but it didn't shut this down, so you can always go back. So I'm gonna go right up in here with the hair. Go to spot healing. I'm gonna brush down. Cause I don't know what that is, but we're gonna get it out. Now it's gone. Now it's not distracting me. Okay, cool. Now, where will I go? So I'm gonna look and see if any parts of the shirt is like too puffy, but because I'll use liquify, but that's about it. Or I will liquify her hair to give it uh, to make it more full or bigger. So I'm gonna show you. I'm not. I'm on race. I'll make double copy what I do, but I will show you what sometimes I do. So I get it here. Sometimes I want the hair real big right here. So. I'll make my brush real big and then I'll start way over here to pull on it. See, it's still going to look natural. You don't want to pull none of this, so you want to be way over here pulling on it. And all it is doing is making it full. Real full. Just pull it down where it looks natural. You want it to look natural. I don't do too much. Now I'll pull this back down. And I just want to pull that area out. And I do it a lot. Nobody ever notices it. No one's going to notice it. So now I made her hair a lot full. You know what I'm saying? Bigger. Go back. Hit OK. Now you see the difference? Still looks the same as after, as before. After, before. I'm going to leave the before, but I do like the after. But I was just showing you how you can play with hair, make you know, hair bigger. I love big hair. So I'm going to delete that layer. And I'm checking to see where we can go. Now we can go to the dodge and burn. I guess I'm going to do that just to make the uh, makeup artist. Makeup pop out more. Go to the dodge and burn on my panel. See it right there. Cool. And this is just a visual um, aid. So to put it in black and white, then you can really see where the shadows are 
or will you need to lighten it up? So let me get this out the way. Come on, brush, get this out the way. Okay, I like my opacity at 100. I love my flow at 3%. So put it at 3. Everything else is cool. So now you got to go to the right. And you see this visual aid over here? You tap that arrow. You see this dodge and burn. Tap that. And you want to go to burn. Burn is the darken. All right, make sure I got my brush where I need it. And then I'll play with it from a distance. So right now I'm darkening. So I'm going to go over to eyebrows, give them a little pop. And you see right here where it's dark. I'm just going to pop that a little bit. You see right here with the blush where it's got a little shadow. Pop that a little bit. Right on the neck. I like to come through here and come down the nose. This is what I do. You don't have to do it. But this is just what I do. Oh, now, yeah, I'm glad this happened. So sometimes you'll think you're doing something and you're not. So you see this over here, this burn curve is black. Your color is supposed to be white right here. These are supposed to be flip-flop. Now, since it's black, I thought I was doing something, but I wasn't. <laughs> Nothing. Um, so you hit X on your keyboard. And you see how it flip-flops right over here? Hit X, it changed color. So you want the top layer to be white. Okay, now we go back. Now we're editing. We're dodging and burning. So your eyes will play tricks on you. And you'll really think you're doing something and you're not. Okay. So I'm a little exaggerating, cause, but I can always pull back once I go back. So I like to put the crease in the lips right here. No, wherever I see shadows. Okay, bring that down. And you don't really need to do anything else. Now, some people go around the, the face with the um, burn. So I'm going to do that too. Go around, pop that out, pop that out more. Cool. Now, I'm going to go to my dodge to lighten. I like to lighten the forehead. Um, coming down the nose. Right up in here. Make your brush smaller, right up in there. That highlight, get that highlight popping, that popping down there, your chin. And like I said, this is just for the portfolio, so you don't need to exaggerate. So I like to pop those highlights in the hair for a light hit. And then I'll do the eyes. Cool, so make your brush smaller. And since it's really dark in there, I'm going to cut my flow all the way up. Because I can always pull back. Well, I can always come back. See, it really isn't even doing anything. But I'm trying to pop it out. Man, pop the eyeballs out. But you don't want them super white. I'm just leaving them like this. Because the photo is a distance away. You know, it's not like just right on her face. So you're really not seeing that. So I'm cool with that. Now what I will do, delete this visual aid up here. Just delete that. Bam. Now you can see it's nice. Um, what I'll do is, this is just something I do. You don't have to do it. I really make that pop. So the dodge and burn. Now you got the dodge and burn folder. You still have your frequency separation folder. You got the in-between. What I'll do is the same thing. I don't have to, but I am. Um, command, Option, Shift, E. Bam. See? So I kept everything that I've done, but now I merged everything I've done together at the top. Now from here, I'm going to make another copy. Because I've been done, basically. But I'm just doing a little extras. Yeah, I'm being extra. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to go down here to my um, Dodge and Burn. Uh, where am I at? Okay, so I'm going to go right here. And then I'm going to really pop these eyes out. Because she likes that. And I have my exposure at 100 shadows. Okay. So we can always dial back if we do too much. 
but you see how the eyes are coming in now now you can kind of see them and I exaggerate them because I can always pull back so that one's a little brighter so I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna tap this one now All right, here we go. So we're gonna tap that. Just tap it. Now we're looking at it. Yeah, it looks nice, neat, and clean. So we're gonna back up off that. Now you see how the eyes pop now? A little bit more. Perfect. Cool. We don't have to do anything else. Now that's done. Nice, clean. So, uh, delete all these up. No, hide all the other layers. So over here, if you're looking to the right, this is the finished copy, and this is where I started. So I'm going to show you. That's the after, that's the before. After, the before. So it's totally, you know, I, I brought the, warm, you know, the warmth to it and made it real clean. See what I'm saying? It just looked like her makeup artist puts some makeup on, and she's done. So you don't need to do too much. Now I can bring the um, that vignette sort of feel from my grill back if I want to, um, but I like it like that. Now I'm gonna send that to the client if she says um, I like the darkness you know, right here, right here. I can do that with ease. So this is clean. This is done. This is finished. Put my name on it, and I'm done. So. How I do my name. I use Avenir Next if people see my name on pictures. And I could just make me a logo, but I just do it like this because it don't take me no time. I love my name in capital. I like my name to look fashionable. So I have my first name regular, and then my last name is in bold. In case anyone wants to know how I make my logo. And then I'm done. I don't like to have my name so big on a photo. And I don't um, like the cursive writing because everybody do that. And I do not have photography in my name. <laughs> it's, my name is just Danny Black. No Danny Black photography. None of that. It's just Danny Black for my whole brand. So I like that, but I don't want it popping out like that so much. So what I do, I kind of bring the opacity down because I don't want my name to take away from the photo. So I like it like that. I like people to concentrate on the photo. Most of the time, I really don't even put my name on it, but I'm putting my name on it. And I, I had it blended in like that. All right, so that's done. Yeah. Um, I'll just save this, send it to my client. That's what I'm about to do. And I just thank everybody for um, checking out my Photoshop retouch. Um, Happy New Year to you. Please like and subscribe like everybody else say because... Um, I don't know. It just gives us that, uh, adre not adrenaline. What's the word? Uh, I can't think of the word right now, but <laughs> dopamine. Yeah, the dopamine to make more videos, make more tutorials. Um, you can check out dannyblack.com. That's my website. I'm Danny Black everywhere. Danny B-L-V-C-K, you know, on all media. But yeah, thank you guys for taking time out of the first day of your new year or whenever you see this to um check out my retouch and how i do it in my tutorial all right guys holla at you see you later peace